All new at six, local homeowners hit with a $20,000 fee from their HOA, and they tell us they had no say in this matter. It's for roofing and siding projects, and it's being imposed on every single unit at the Fountain Gate condo community in Jacksonville. On your side, Ken Merrill spoke with a current board member, and Ken, she is saying nobody even told her and she's a board member. That's correct, and we're talking about 97 units. You know, when you become a condo owner, you're always afraid about of these special assessments. They can happen anytime and they can be hefty. Even so, they must be done within state guidelines. And some residents are telling me it wasn't in this case. The HOA, however, says it was. Now they're asking the Department of Business and Professional Regulation to get rid of the current HOA. At the Fountain Gate condominium community, there is growing outrage over a special assessment fee. They feel like we're being railroaded in this and because it most of the homeowners here are on a limited budget because they are retired. Jody Kilgore owns a unit. She is also a director on the Homeowners Association Board. But we'll Kilgore is against the current proposal. I think we need to listen to the people's vote. Kilgore says yes, the buildings are in need of a new roof and new siding. But she believes the unit owners are being left out of the decision-making process. Whenever there's a material change, the community should provide at least 75% of the vote to say either yes or no, but uh, the board voted and not the community. The HOA is securing a loan for the $1.5 million project. To pay back the loan, it is imposing a special assessment, approximately $20,000 per unit to be paid monthly over seven years. It's still a seven-year contract for unit owners that are in their 70s and 80s on a fixed income. Kilgore now supports a recall of the HOA, which would mean replacing the current board and the property management company. And start over. She says right now she has more questions than answers, and there are many in her community who share the same concerns. Everybody in this community is stressed over what's going on. Now, Chris Cobb, attorney for the Condo Association, told me the owners were allowed to vote on the materials. He says they voted it down, and that allowed the HOA to make a decision at the board level in a 5-2 to two vote. Cobb says the HOA has followed state law and the governing documents in this process. However, if the recall fails, the assessment goes into effect November 1st. Back to you.